Welcome to our channel Get Cooking Now. Today's dish is perfect for any occasion. It's sweet and also savory with a texture that's absolutely irresistible. Hi, I'm Laddie and today we will share with you a detailed step-by-step -step recipe to create the perfect tea time snack. It's a dish which is extremely popular across many different cultures. This recipe is sure to impress. Our recipe for today is sweet and dry vermicelli, also known as sevayan. Step 1. Preparing the ingredients. We have taken 200 grams of pre-roasted vermicelli, which is also called sevaya. Break the vermicelli into half so that it becomes easier to manage in the pan while roasting. Do not break it into very small pieces. You will also need 3 4 cup of sugar, 6 tablespoons of ghee or clarified butter, 1 cup or 250 ml of milk, 1 cup or 250 ml of water, 1 pinch of salt, half teaspoon of cardamom or elaichi powder. You will also need 10 almonds also called badams, 10 cashew nuts or kaju, 2 tablespoons of raisins or kismis. You can also use any other dry fruits of your choice. Step 2. Preparing the milk mixture On medium heat, in an open thick bottom pan, add the water, add pre-boiled milk, add 1 pinch of salt, add the sugar. Stir everything nicely. If you haven't already subscribed to our channel, do subscribe and press the bell icon to receive a notification whenever we upload a new video. Milk needs to be boiling hot when you add it to the vermicelli later. Once it starts boiling, cover and put off the heat. But remember to heat the milk again just before adding it to the vermicelli later. Step 3. Preparing the vermicelli or sevaya. Place a thick bottom pan on low heat and add 1 tablespoon of ghee or clarified butter. Once the ghee or clarified butter is hot, add the almonds which are also called badams and add the cashew nuts or kaju. Gently roast them for a minute. After a minute, add the raisins or kismis. Stir it gently. After around a minute, remove them. Slice the almonds and open up the cashew nuts into two halves. Add the remaining 5 tablespoons of ghee or clarified butter. Once the ghee or clarified butter is hot, add the vermicelli. Gently roast for around 7 to 8 minutes until the vermicelli changes color and gives a nice aroma. We have used pre-roasted vermicelli Therefore, we don't have to roast it for a long time. If you are using vermicelli which is not roasted, then you will have to roast them nicely for some more time for them to change color. Stir frequently to get the vermicelli from the bottom to the top, thus enabling the vermicelli to cook evenly and nicely. Help us reach more people just like you. Share this recipe with at least three friends or relatives who love sweets and I'm sure they'll be excited. Roasting the vermicelli properly ensures that your sevaya has a smooth, soft, non-sticky texture. Make sure not to burn the vermicelli. After roasting the vermicelli for around 7 to 8 minutes and the vermicelli has changed color slightly, carefully pour the sizzling hot milk mixture be careful as it may splatter. 
Now increase the heat to medium low. Stir frequently to prevent lumps from forming. Cover and cook until the vermicelli has cooked properly. Stir everything nicely. You can add a little water if required to prevent burning or sticking to the pan or to cook the vermicelli completely. For further details regarding this or any of our other recipes, always refer to the description box for accurate and updated information. Check to see if the vermicelli is cooked. Once the vermicelli has cooked, add the cardamom or elaichi powder. Mix everything properly and cook for around a minute on low heat. Taste and add sugar powder if required. Now add the pre-cooked almonds, cashew nuts and the raisins. Mix everything nicely. Try to open up the vermicelli using a fork. This will bring out the texture of the dish. Delicious vermicelli or sevaya is ready. Serve the vermicelli or sevaya hot or warm. You can garnish it with some sliced nuts and raisins before serving. Check out our other interesting recipes and do subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. Thank you for watching.